for more on car insurance. Welcome back. You're listening to the Cindy Laverty Show on CRN Digital Talk Radio. You can follow the show on my blog at CRN talk.com forward slash Cindy Laverty. I always forget to tell you that the show is on YouTube at Cindy Laverty show. You can join me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. Pretty easy to find me. Um, you can get a copy of Wabi Sabi Love. It's available anywhere, but I would recommend that you go to Ariel's site, the Wabi Sabi book.com because she has all these great bonuses for you. We're going to switch gears, and I want to introduce you to my guest who is in studio with me. Jeff Stein is the founder of C3 for Stress. This is my new favorite product, C3 for Stress. Um, it is great. It keeps you, as I say on the package, cool, calm, and connected. That's the operative word there for me. Jeff, thanks for being here. It's great to have you. Come closer to the microphone. <laughs> thanks, Cindy. <Abby. laughs> so it's not easy to bring a product to market. We know this. <laughs> so what was the motivation to create a product that would be an alternative to a prescription med for stress? Because that's what this is. Well, it, it was back in 2005. I was just selling my prior company, which was a company called Elixir Tonics and Teas. Yes, I loved that Thank place. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, that company, as you remember, was uh, uh, based around uh, products of natural health, health and wellness. Yes. Based on traditional Chinese medicine. At that point in time, I noticed in the marketplace there was this great proliferation of um, products geared towards uh, energy uh-huh and uh, there were Red Bull started it and then all of a sudden there was this cascade of other products and people were getting all amped up a lot of caffeine a lot of other things and, and sugar and sugar <laughs> and uh, and what I what I looked around is one of the things that was really affecting most people aside from lack people feeling they had lack of energy was stress right and uh, there was nothing really in the marketplace that was addressing stress in a in a, an important way except for maybe pharmaceutical drugs and, and people of, were taking energy drinks to make up for stress because they felt so burnt out right but interestingly enough all it does is make it, it worse it, it, ultimately <laughs> it does because it burns out your adrenals and you just feel more exhausted and right. stressed right so we felt that there was an opportunity to come out with a an all-natural product for stress relief here it is. There it is, C3 for stress. <laughs> and um, there, is a, there is a world of people out there that are stressed. And um, as you know. Our whole society. <laughs> and as you know, stress has a real deep connection to wellness and well-being and your health. Yes. So we felt it was uh, important for lots of reasons. Plus, we thought it could be a good business opportunity. Well, you know what's so interesting is that I think people walk around today almost like they have this emblem on their chest. You know, oh, I'm so stressed out. And lunches and dinners are like, who has the most stress? As if this is something that you should be bragging about. Well, you know, people like to have, they, people love, you know, the addiction to their uh, <laughs> Crack their drama <laughs> well and also all the you know people who have hundreds of emails and are always twittering you go to a restaurant people are oh it's you know, crazy are, you know texting and this right unless people feel that there's so much going on in their life they feel like there's an emptiness i think uh -huh. and so very often people love this um this the hyper motivation of, uh, the hyper mode that yeah they get into but it's not necessarily serving them, and I think it's not necessarily really making them feel better the way they think it does. Right. So I know you can't give us the formula, but is there a main ingredient in C3 for stress that that helps the calming? Is it a is it a formulation? C3 uh, has been de developed by a team of uh, professionals from both Eastern and Western medical. Um, modalities okay in addition to uh, ha using doctors of traditional chinese medicine and western allopathic doctors uh we developed this with flavor and food technologies to make the taste of the and drink. it tastes good well you know something uh, uh it's challenging to anybody that knows herbs knows that herbs can be bitter yes and to get a, a, a drink that tastes uh decent and good was a challenge, but I think we, we beat that challenge. Most people really, really like the way it tastes. It tastes good. I mean, but I will tell our, my listeners, it doesn't taste like, if you think you're going to taste what a Coca-Cola tastes like, no, Correct. you're not having that. But and you don't want to be doing that. give you the benefit. <laughs> right, right. So in order to get the benefit, there's a little bit of pain in there, but not much. Uh, we suggest uh, for people who find the taste a little bit too herbal, just add a splash of cranberry juice and it rounds it out. Yeah. But back to your question about the ingredients, it's, it's really made up of, of a whole series of herbs, vitamins, and minerals that mm -hmm. have been formulated into a well-balanced, nutritive formula, which when taken together will have the desired effect. Okay, what I really liked about this is that 
you know, when I, I, I thought, all right, I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to see if it were. I had a, I was, I was determined to take two weeks off at the holidays this past year. And, but I had all this stuff I had to do in order to do that. So I thought, all right, I'm just going to try this. Jeff says it's good. I'm just going to try it. So I took it. I mean, I drank it. And and it, and it was really this sort of subtle reaction because I just felt calm, got my work done, but I was really focused. That's what was so great for me. And that's the cool, calm, and connected exactly. part of it. Exactly. So that was amazing to me. Well, you know, what stress will do is it will take your mind off your task at hand. T uh, stress has a lot of um, uh, side effects, including not being able to be clear clearly focused. Yeah. When you release stress, not only does your focus get clearer, but it also your, your natural energy, where your energy is at that time, right. will be more present. Right. So it allows you to be more productive. You, know, you don't have to worry about taking C3 during the day and losing mental acuity. Right. There are no sedatives in the product. Nothing makes you fuzzy at You're all. You're not going to get, if anything, you get clearer, like mm -hmm. you said. Yeah, I find that when I'm stressed, I tend to go in, I, if I feel like I have ADD or something. Like, exactly. I got to do this, I got to do that. I start multitasking all over the place. Nothing really gets accomplished. Right. So that was amazing for me. So we know that stress has all of these awful side effects, but... Why do we need to reduce or at the very least control stress in our lives? I mean, there are physical benefits to doing this. And I know you guys have, you write about this on your blog. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of uh, the, the um, response to stress uh, dates back thousands of years from when man was hunter-gatherer. Right. And there was this f uh, fight or flight syndrome right. that would take place. So you're, you're faced with, um, uh, you know, dealing with some taking down some wild animals so that you can bring home food to the family. Right, kind of important. Yes. <laughs> but what happens, so what happens is the, the, the hypothalamus part of the brain releases this cascade of hormones, including cortisol, adrenaline, whatever. Yes. And what they do is they, they cause the blood to go to the muscles to allow you to fight off the beast. This is all hardwired into our system. Right. This, these hormones don't serve us unless you burn off the, the energy that it provides, it, right. it, it, you know, it, and you're not, and when you're fighting the beast and you're using your muscles, you burn it off and it was fine. It's hardwired so that today still we get this response even though we don't burn it off. And, ah. what, these, and what these hormones do, uh, Cindy, is they suppress the immune system. And by suppressing the immune system, then you're more vulnerable to illness and disease. Okay, let's let's see if we can finish this up on the other side of the break. I got to take sure. a quick break. I'll be back. You're listening to the City Lavery Show.